<laughs> so you were able to dodge my random ass lantern. Huh, you're gonna have to do better than that. Oh, uh, what the shit fuck is going on? Ooh, let's get the fuck out of here. You think you can run? Hey everyone, what's up? It's Emperor Bro here, and welcome to another RPG Maker um, tutorial. This one is by uh, this one is by Arif Rockman. However, I cannot unspam his comment for some reason, but uh, he did post this, um, which is why, if you're wondering, like you're looking at the comments, you're like, "Hey, who's this guy?" Uh, he is in the spam area for some unknown reason, and I cannot unmake him in the spam area. So then, um, this event is pretty simple to set up. Uh, basically, you're gonna need a projectile. Um, you're gonna need a switch called projectile, and you're also you're also gonna need a uh, switch called dodge. So in the projectile, we're gonna check the switch box, and we're gonna select projectile. So it only shows up when the projectile switch is on. Now for the main event here, as you see, we have our player move right and whatnot. This part isn't important. You can do whatever you want right here. This part is important. So the um, the part that I'm gonna highlight is the most important part. Um, is this part right here you're gonna create a label which you can do by going to uh, the event command thing here and do uh, you can click label here and we're gonna call it check then we're gonna create uh, we're gonna we're gonna need to, we're gonna need a variable called QT timer for quick time timer quick time timer QTT quick time timer try saying that blah. try saying that five times fast anyways uh, we're gonna see if it's less than 30 which is half of a second considering RPG Maker runs at 30 frames per second. And if it is, we're going to set the move route, a projectile, up by 1. Also, um, before the label, make sure uh, when the event starts, you have to um, you have to turn the switch on. So we're going to we're going to turn on the projectile switch and then we're going to set the projectile equal to the location of here. I forgot to mention that. I apologize. So starting from here, this is all the important part. Anyways, um, we're going to check and see if QT timer is less than 30, and if it is, we're going to move the projectile up by 1, and uncheck, or make sure you have the check if, or skip if cannot move checked. And then we're going to show a picture, you're going to need to make something, um, in, like in the GIMP or whatever, I have a little image that says press Z, to let you know, hey, you need to press something to dodge. Uh, and then we're going to do a little bit of code, tiny little bit. We're going to do a conditional branch, and we're going to go over the, uh, to the fourth tab, and we're going to select script. We're going to put this in. It has to be case sensitive, so everything should be exactly, uh, like all the capital letters need to be exactly as you see here. Once you have this uh, in, that'll check and see if you've pressed the OK button, which is Z, Enter, or whatever. You could do the button is being pressed down, but then all the player has to do is hold it, and then he can kind of cheat. So anyway, uh, and then we're gonna do if inside of this we're gonna we're gonna turn the switch dodge on, and then we're gonna uh, I don't know why I have stop SC there. Don't worry about that. We're gonna play a sound effect to make the player to sound, you know, the player dodging kind of sound, and then we're gonna set the player's move route to direction fix on. He's gonna jump to the right. We're gonna select jump, and we're gonna do oops, we're gonna do plus one for the X position, and we're gonna turn direction fix off. Uh, after that, we are uh, also wait for completion. Uh, after that, we're going to turn dodge on. I already had dodge on. I don't know why I did a second time there. You can very clearly tell that I was not prepared for this. And we're going to set QT timer equal to 30 by doing control variables. That'll, um, that'll automatically stop the thing from happening. Um, after the trigger thing we're gonna we're gonna increase QT timer by one by doing add and selecting one and then we're going to jump to label check so it's going to loop through this you could have used the loop function but I prefer this method just preference uh, and then in the else section by the way of the QT timer make sure you have the else uh, branch checked and if uh, QT is less than 30 in the else when it's greater than or equal to 30 uh, we're going to do erase picture uh, and we're going to select the same ID as the press Z picture, which is one. Now we got to check and we got to have a conditional branch to check and see if dodge is on. And if it is, turn projectile off and go through with your event, whatever happens after you dodge. Else, as you can see, he says, hi, I got you. Um, make sure you, again, make sure you, you've checked the uh, create else branch for the dodge. And this part right here is if you did not dodge. 
So in the else area, meaning you didn't dodge, then you can have a game over screen or get some ta take some damage or whatever. Anyways, I apologize if that was a little confusing, but that's basically how it works. See you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.